Finally, it's Saturday. I've been back from camp for almost a week, and I'm only just getting around to making a video. I think that merits punishment. A week ago, I got back from camp, and I've just got to say it was amazing. Camp Psyker is one of the experiences that I look forward to every year, and I plan to go every year until I die. This year, I almost didn't want to, I didn't want to go back because it's a church camp, and I didn't know if I necessarily believed in God, but I had a lot of friends there who I really, really, really wanted to see. So I went back for the friends. But as the 10 days progressed, I started to, you know, renew my faith in um, God as well. So I can proudly say that I am a Christian and I love Jesus Christ, which I wasn't sure about before camp. And that's a really good thing for me. At camp, it wasn't just about, like, the church stuff, there was also so much fun stuff that they organized for us to do. Um, on the first night, we had a concert with some band that I've never really heard of, but they were actually really good. They're called the Marty Ford Experience, and I got footage of my brother headbanging. <laughs> on the second night, there was a pizza party, and I met a guy who is almost as nerdy as me. You make a funny face! I mean, like, half of our conversations are about Jesus and Harry Potter, which is a weird mix. Later that week, because, you know, I was kind of sleep deprived because I was staying in a dorm and, like, people like to stay up late talking really loudly, I had a psychotic meltdown. And my best friend Kyle told me that my future children are going to be crazy. But he doesn't know that I'm adopting. And then there's also all these really cool people at camp. Like, they have just amazing musical talent. You ask me if I love you. And if my love is true, well, if I were a rich man, here is what I'd do. I'd buy you a diamond ring and a new fur coat or two. If my nose was running money, I'd blow it all on you. channel soon. Hopefully. Link in the doobly-doo. Oh, but the one of the best parts about the talent show was that I now have video footage of my pseudo-twin brother and my boyfriend wearing dresses. Every year I stay in the dorm, specifically the west side of the dorm, because the dorm has the east and the west side. For the talent show, the girls in my dorm decided that they would do a skit called West Dorm Story based off of the storyline of West Side Story. And the big drama of um, the skit that we did was that somebody stole our light bulbs. Guys, guys! the light cord and I looked around and I tugged it again and nothing was happening and I looked up and my light bulb was gone and then screams of erupting anger came from the other rooms as well as girls said where's my light bulb I want my light bulb why don't I have a light bulb we didn't leave our light bulbs on so we assumed that the silo boys because they love to prank us, had taken our light bulbs. So we prepared to prank them. Or what are we gonna do to Silo? Get even. Then later, because they were mad about us getting all their stuff wet, they came and started banging on the walls of the dorm for about five minutes straight in the middle of the night to wake us all up. <laughs> that was really creepy. There's a fuzz on my finger. You don't belong there. Get off. 